Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will understand another powerful React design pattern that is higher order components. HOC enables you to reuse the complex logic across different components. And this helps to keep your code clean, promotes modularity and provides separation of concern. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. Do you know that almost 3 billion people have never logged on to internet? They have never taken the advantage of using Google, YouTube or AI tools that we use today. They have also missed out the opportunities for education, online jobs, conversation and we have missed out their potential. Today, internet access means to global knowledge and equal opportunities. At giveinternet.org, you can sponsor internet fees and laptops for the student from some of the most undeserved communities. Their local partners provide them skills like coding, design, healthcare, entrepreneurship. The only thing these students lack are internet connection and the laptop. Once connected, most of the students either find a job, freelance or start their own businesses. Today, join the cause along with me in just few clicks. Every donation you made through this unique link will be matched by one of their donors. You can read the stories of every student on the platform view every penny spent and receive monthly updates showing you how you have changed their lives and in return of your donation you will win a free t-shirt or a hoodie you can fill out this form and it will be open for one week winners will get a free t-shirt or a hoodie from giveinternet.org so join me for this noble cause all right guys so before we jump directly to the visual studio code we will first go through the slides as usual and try to understand what higher order component design pattern is why we use it in our react app application and what are the pros and cons of using this pattern. So higher order component are advanced design pattern in react application for reusing component logic. Now here we will see that we have a simple app component in our project and this app component has three different components inside it. The dashboard component, the profile component and the login component. Now what we need to do is we need to build a logic that will check whether the user is authenticated or not and if this user is authenticated then we will just navigate the user to dashboard or profile page but we don't have to repeat ourselves so we have to reuse our logic and for that what we will do is we are going to create a with auth hoc which is a higher order component function which is going to accept components and that is also going to contain some common logic and this auth component will return the new component with enhanced feature and we will be reusing our authentication logic so let's see that we have this app component which has the dashboard and a profile we pass these two components components into the with auth which is a higher order component and in return we get a new component which is the authenticated dashboard and the authenticated profile and they both use the same logic for checking the user authentication status. Now this was a basic idea of higher order component. Now let's see what are the pros of using this HOC design pattern in react application. The first one is code reusability. Higher order component allows you to reuse logic across multiple components keeping our code dry which is do not repeat yourself the next one is separation of concern by encapsulating common behavior in higher order components you separate concerns and keep your component focused on their primary responsibilities next it provides the enhanced readability hoc makes it easier to understand the purpose of the component in our example the component was wrapped with with auth hoc it's clear that it requires authentication and the last one is decoupling hoc decouples behavior from components making components easier to test now let's see what are some of the cons of using this hoc pattern the first one is the wrapper hell using multiple hocs on a single component can lead to a wrapper hell making it hard to allow the flow and understand which hoc are applied and in what order so sometimes it's really important to understand how we apply the hoc next one is the prop collision hoc needs to pass down all the necessary props to the wrap components if not handled correctly there could be a prop named collision or missing props and we are going to see all this when we actually implement the example of HOC. 
The third one is the reduced performance. Each higher order component creates a new component in the React component tree. If overused or poorly implemented, it can lead to increased render time and impact our performance. So we have to be very careful when we use HOC in our application. And the last one is debugging complexity. HOC can make debugging more challenging because you need to trace through multiple layers of wrapped component to identify issues. Now we have already understood about HOC pros and cons, it's time to implement the example which we just saw in our slide. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. Alright guys, so I have already bootstrapped my React project using Vite. You can just use it npm create Vite at the rate latest and you can bootstrap your project. Now in this project, I have just added the config for the server where I will be using the port 3001 and I added a property of open which is true. Now if I go to my source folder, Inside the source folder, I have a app JSX, which is empty. We have no JSX returning from this app component. Then I have two folders, which is the components folder where I have two components dashboard and a profile and these components we actually saw in our slide for the hoc i have this with auth.jsx which is going to handle our authentication logic and if we go to our package json then you will see that in the package json i have a simple react react dome and react router dome dependency now what we are going to do is uh, since we have two components dashboard and profile and in our app.jsx we are going to add the routes for dashboard profile and login. So I'm going to go here and I will simply import. So I will import here browser router as router. So this is a very standard implementing the routes and I will have the routes and I will have the route. All right. Now we are going to use them here. So I will have the router first inside the router. I'm going to have my routes and inside the routes, I will have the route. So I will have the route where I will give the path. So my path will be dashboard and i have to give the element so for now i will just keep it as empty all right i will just copy for the other two routes as well so i will copy here i will add i will add here and i will have a profile i will have a slash which is going to have a login and here i will simply add a small jsx so i will add the h1 uh, i will add your higher order component and with this i will also add one more div and that div is going to contain that this is a login page for unauthenticated users all right so I have added these two. Now what we have to do is uh, we are also having this slash dashboard and profile. And if we go and see that we have already created these two components. So let's write a simple component here. So I'm going to have RSC, which is going to give me a component. And inside this, uh, I'm simply going to have an H1 which will say that it is a dashboard and I will have a paragraph tag where I will just have a text welcome to the dashboard only authenticated users can see this all right and I will just copy this because I'm going to have a very similar in my profile as well I can also remove this because I'm not using it and if we go to the profile I will simply add the RSC and this is going to give me a profile component and I'm going to add the same thing here where I will just change this to profile page and I will have this here as this is the profile page. All right. So I have both the components here. And now if we want to try it, then what we can do is we can just add a, a dashboard component here. All right. So it's got auto imported and I will have a profile component here. So I will have the profile component here. All right. So we have this now if you want to give a try, we can just give a try. So I will just remove this and I will run my application using npn run dev. And this is going to start my application at localhost 3001. Now we don't see anything here. Let's give a try if I go to a dashboard what do I see so I'm going to go to the dashboard and I see that dashboard welcome to the dashboard only authenticated user can see if I go to the profile I see the profile then if I go to the home page I see that higher order component login page for unauthenticated users now what we are trying to do here is that if we go back to our visual studio code then what I want is let's say we are building some authentication functionality 
and we want that only authenticated users should be allowed to go to the dashboard and a profile page. So for that, we always need to check a token. If there is a valid token, we will allow the user to navigate to dashboard and a profile. But if the token is expired, we will navigate the user back to the login screen. And now we have to implement this logic with the help of an HOC. Here HOC will fit perfectly to implement it because it is going to share the logic of authentication between these two components. So let's write that. So what I will do is uh, I'm going to use the RSC to get the component here. All right. And this component will return some kind of a JSX. So first thing what it will do is that HOC component takes a component as an argument. So I'm going to have the wrap component here. All right. And in the end, we have to return this wrapped component with all the props. So what I will do is uh, I will just remove this and I will create a function that will be returned from the HOC. All right. And this is going to take the prop. Now what we can do is I will be using a navigate so that I can navigate back to the login if it's uh, not authenticated. So I will have a navigate which is equals to the use navigate. All right. And along with this, I will also have a constant for is auth. All right. And let's say you have some service or you have your token into your local storage. So you can just use the local storage dot get item and get your token. But for this example, for the sake of simplicity, I will simply use a boolean, which is true. Now what we will do is uh, we are just going to use a use effect that we want to run this only once. So here I'm going to have a use effect and I will do a console dot log of my token so i will have the user authentication and i will just print the value here so that we can see it in the console which is the ease auth all right so i will go here and i will just simply make a check that if ease auth is false in that case i want my user to get navigate to the login which is the slash all right we can also put the dependencies here so i will have the dependency as is auth and wherever the navigate gets changed all right so it's a very simple logic we did not do much we are just checking the ease auth value and then decide whether we have to navigate the user to the login or not now once we have this what we will do is uh, we are going to have a return here and then we are going to return our new enhanced component so the new enhanced component will be ease auth if it's true then in that case i just want to have my wrapped component and we need to give all the original props to it. So I will have the spread operator and I will spread the props. All right. But if this is a false, then in that case, what I want is I'm going to have a simple div and I'm going to write null into it. All right. And and that's all. That is what we are going to do. Now, what we will do is if I hover this, you will see that I get a complaint here. Component definition is missing display name. So now this is an ESLint error. Now, there are two ways to resolve this. Either you can do a quick fix and you can just disable this for this entire file. Or I will also show you how you can just resolve this error so before that what we will do is we are going to go to the app jsx and in the app jsx what i will do is i will have that constant and here i will take the enhanced component which is the authenticated dashboard and this will be equals to the we are going to use the hocs so i'm going to use the with auth and i will just pass the dashboard here so my higher order component is going to take the component uh, which is a wrapped component and it is going to enhance it and then give me a new component which is this authenticated component i can have a very similar for my uh, profile as well so i'm going to use authenticated profile which will be equals to the with auth and i'm going to pass the profile here all right now we can just display this enhanced components so i'm going to use the enhanced component here and i will use the enhanced component into my profile all right so uh, basically i have to take it out of the return so i have to remove this cut and put it here all right, now I can give a try. So if I go back here and currently the authentication is true. So if I go to a dashboard, I should be able to go to the dashboard. If I go to profile, I should be able to go to the profile. And now if I just change it to false, now we are on a profile page. I will go and change this to false. So if I change this to false, immediately navigate it to the login screen. So if I try to access the dashboard now, uh, I will be thrown to the login screen because I have this ease auth plan as false so that's how you will be able to see that we are using this uh, uh, logic using the hoc and then we get this authenticated profile now these can only be accessible whenever the authentication flag is true all right so if i make this true again then i will be able to go to the dashboard so now we have 
true, we can go to the dashboard. We can also go to the profile. And as soon as we make it false again, we will be navigated to login. All right. Now I will show you how we can resolve this. So this actually gives you a component definition is missing display name. So every component in the linting, there is a rule that every component should have a display name. So what I can do is uh, I can just remove this. I can have a constant and I can just use a name to this component. So with auth component. All right. And now I have the with auth as a name of my display name of my component. And in the end, what I have to do is uh, I simply have to have to return the component here. So I will have my return component here. All right. So now you will see that we don't see any error because now we have provided a display name to a component. So that's why we don't see an error, but our functionality will still work as it is. So we are on the login. And if we go to the dashboard, then we will be throw back to the login and if I make this as true then if I go to dashboard now then we should be able to go to the dashboard so that was a very simple HOC component which actually shows you how powerful this design pattern is you can use the same logic on multiple components so let's say you have a bigger application where you have a lot of components which should have a protected routes so in such cases you can just use the HOC design pattern and you can solve this problem of separation of concern you can also maintain the readability of your code and you don't repeat your logic in all the places of your application. And this example also shows you can use the higher order component function using functional component. So a lot of examples you will find that they are using a class component, but this is a classic example how you can use a function component to write an HOC. So that's all I have in this video. I hope you like the video. A thumbs up is appreciated. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter for latest updates. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. Thank you. Thanks for watching.